Hello, I'm going to do some examples using the economic model uh, production possibility frontier and the classic guns versus butter trade-off and opportunity cost. So when economists say guns versus butter, what they're really talking about is not literally guns, but uh, it's a situation where a society can produce uh, things like guns, where we're really talking about our capital goods. Um, you might hear it referred to as maybe military spending, um, but generally it's capital goods, and those are goods for the production of other goods. And then butter isn't really butter, but it's consumer goods, right? So it's uh, 2017 here, and it's basically all the stuff in, inside of Walmart. It's going to be anything butter, Target, or any, any place like that. So when we model some kind of economy, we... Uh, Give it a little x, y coordinates here, and 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 there are numbers here, which you could you know you could look up. You can look up industrial production from each country. We're not going to do that because we're just thinking about um, the trade-off and and the model. So here's our guns, here's our butter, and these are units. So this would be zero. This is like a society producing nothing. Uh, maybe a situation where there's a civil war, zombie apocalypse, or something. Uh, they're just not producing anything. If a society decides, you know, we're going to just produce butter, right? Now, it might be up here, it might be down here. It, it just depends on the, the production capabilities. And remember, production capabilities come from the factors of production, which are land, any, any natural resources labor, meaning the uh, the workers, what they're able to do, and those, uh, whoop, spelled correctly, capital goods, so land, labor, and capital, so it's this combination. So um, let's say uh, society, you know, society could produce uh, nothing but butter, have no no uh, capital goods at all, uh, no, no reinvestment at all, or they could just produce all of the all of the, the capital goods that they thought they needed so they could just produce that so what this is going to look like they could also produce you know some level here some level here some level here we can call these points a b c d and so we might ask a question like what is the opportunity cost of moving from point a to point b and we would gain this amount we'll, we'll just give it a number let like call it six tons of of guns, um, but we would lose this amount here. So we would lose that. And so remember the, the formula for really figuring that out is uh, what you give up over what you gain. So if this is uh, 1, we would say moving from A to B, you give up uh, 1 butter, but you gain 6 guns. Okay, so that's uh, opportunity cost of one sixth there, and I could you could use that for comparative advantage sake. Anyhow, uh, what I also want to show you is let's say that an economy that this economy. Um, oh, and, and before we say that, um, let's say that, uh, that that for any of these points along the along this production possibility frontier are acceptable. Okay, they're. Um, they're efficient, uh, they're producing where they need to be. If you were at, say, this point X, that means you could be producing up at point B or you could be producing over here at point F, but for some reason you're being inefficient and you're producing at that point X. We don't like point X, so you wanna be somewhere along this, this line. Well, let's say that uh, some kind of method of, of producing capital goods uh, is, is created and, uh, and they use it, and this is a new level of technology. This wouldn't affect the butter production, right? But it would only affect uh, the guns. Well, what it would do is if we were only producing guns, we're now being able to produce out here. Uh, and because these are these are a combination each each in here, it's not going to affect the overall butter butter production, but it would affect uh, the, the combination of both because now we're able to as a technology increase for for just that, if it's a if it's something for both, so now let's say uh, after this they they've reinvested, and now they're this they're able to you know use the land, labor, and capital like they weren't like they were like they weren't before. Um, that would be good. So 
that would increase the, per, remember what it stands for, production possibility frontier. In other words, what it's what we're able to produce, uh, what it's possible to produce, and what, what sort of, what's the edge of that. So, you know, let's say, uh, you know, there's a baby boom and there's a bunch more workers, you know, it's gonna be another increase, so on and so forth. And you can look up the numbers uh, for the model. You can look it up for different countries. You could say maybe they're able to get more natural resources because of fracking. Uh, maybe the workers work harder. They're, they're able to use the capital so they're more productive, something like that. Now it could be, you could have some kind of situation where, let me just redraw this whole thing. Um, let's say you had some kind of terrible disease like the, the bubonic plague, right? You're some country that uh, is still suffering from that. And unfortunately, there are still countries in the world that suffer from that. So uh, we've got our guns versus butter. And let's say, you know, you were here. This would be a point if you were just producing guns. This would be a point if you're just producing butter. Well, bubonic plagues make people sick. Um, they're not going to be able to produce as much uh, and really, it's gonna it's gonna make it less. You know, some of the people are gonna die. It's gonna make it less possible to produce either combination of goods. So, some kind of situation where there's a disease, maybe there's some kind of shortage of those natural resources. Workers get less productive. They just don't want to go to work anymore. Um, you know, capital goods. I, I guess you could think about a situation where it's hacking or spyware or something like that. That would cause the production possibility frontier to shift in. You know, it's the, it's let it's less possible well no it's, it's it, the production capabilities of the country have decreased and so that's what we see there so that's how to think about uh, this guns versus butter model